everybody and welcome back to a Children Museum Houston's Education Moment. I'm Allie, the Life Science Educator. I'm Danny. I'm our Social Studies Educator. And we're here in EcoStation, our outdoor environmental science exhibit. It's funded by the Strake Foundation. So it's that without them this would not be possible. So, so thank you Strake Foundation. <laughs> Today we're actually going to be doing a fun experiment that you can do at home. We're going to actually make a model of the water cycle. Cool. Yes, yeah, so the water cycle is actually something that happens all around the earth. And it's how our water moves from the solid form to big clouds and then rains in another place. So it's actually going to be talking about that, but we're making a small model of that that you can witness at home. So the first thing we're actually going to do is we're going to actually try to draw something very similar to this picture on our Ziploc bag. But if you don't have a Ziploc bag, because this is what I'm going to make my model in, you can use a container. So Danny's actually going to make one out of this container, but if you notice this container also has a lid. And you need to make sure that there's a lid on the or a good seal for the bag or the container, because without it, then the water would just evaporate back into the atmosphere. <laughs> and so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to color on our bag or our container this image or something similar. We're either you can draw an ocean, you can draw a pond, but you definitely need a source of water. Okay. So go ahead and grab them whatever you want to do, Danny. I'm actually going to draw the pond similar to what's in Eco Station. I'm going with the ocean. I've got to put a lot of waves in mine here. Ah, I like that. It's really windy at my ocean today. I'm gonna I have my little pond. I gotta make a bunch of grass because there's a lot of grass around our pond. Oh, I should add. Plants. I should add some land. I'll put a little island in my ocean. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> it's sandy beach. There we go. I'm gonna draw some birds floating or flying around. There's some birds. You can actually add any animals or plants you want to your bag. It's up to you. And then one, but one of the other things you really need to make sure to remember to include is clouds. Because what do you see up in the sky? There's oh, a yeah. lot of clouds outside, and that's those clouds are actually made up of the water. So I'm gonna draw some big clouds. Okay. I'll do that too. One of my birds is actually in my cloud, but that's okay. Yes. He's flying through the clouds. There we go. Right. I might even draw like a tree. Like similar to this picture, but we have trees at Eco Station. I've got a little palm tree on my island. Oh, I love it. <laughs> All right. So, one of the things we're going to talk about is how the water cycle actually works. And so what you end up having is you have solid bodies of water, like the pond, or the ocean, or a puddle in the, in the sidewalk. And that puddle, or pond, will actually get very warm when the sun comes out because the sun adds a lot of heat to those surfaces and it gets so warm that it evaporates up or turns into a gas and then floats up into the air. Okay. That's why you, if you feel outside right now it's very hot and humid that's because oh, yeah. there's a lot of water in the air today because the sun is beaming down on all those wet surfaces Makes sense. exactly right. and floating that air up and so it's very humid. Mm -hmm. But so that's gonna, what's going to happen from the pond is we're going to have that water evaporate up into our clouds. So we can actually, if you'd like, I'm going to draw a little arrow pointing up and write the word evaporation. Evaporation. Okay. Exactly. That's a big word and we actually have it listed right here and a little bit easier. So if you want to model after this picture, you can. We're only going to be talking about the three things in this, evaporation, and then the next thing we're going to talk about is condensation. And that's what happens when that evaporated water molecules actually end up floating up really high into the sky where it's a lot colder in the atmosphere and they actually condense together. They get closer together. They touch each other more. Um, and so what happens is those molecules will bond and make bigger, bigger droplets. And that's what you see in the sky is those clouds. So it, that condensation is actually that cloud floating in the air. Right. So I'm going to label my cloud condensation. That's all. So I've got evaporation and then I've got condensation. Exactly. Cool. And then the last but not least, if you notice, there's been no rain yet. We haven't drawn any rain in our model. So let's go ahead and draw some rain molecules maybe over your land or back over that ocean. And what do you think that rain is called? Rain. 
That's a good. That's what it's called. <laughs> yes, it is called rain. It's water. So what actually when that rain gets too heavy in those when the water gets too heavy in the clouds, okay. it's actually known as precipitation. I knew that one. I knew that one. Precipitation. Yes, exactly. Okay. So I'm going to label my rain precipitation. Precip Oh, okay. Such big words we're using today. Absolutely. And now, now I know you're thinking we've just drawn on a bag or a container. How does this actually model what's happening on Earth? Well, you have to add water to it. Oh. So we're going to open the bag or the container and add about an inch of water, about as high as you drew your water. Go ahead and fill it to that layer. So I'll okay. let you go first. All right. There's my ocean. Perfect. And then you want to make sure that you really seal your bag or container. Okay. So I'm going to pour in my water. Mine's pretty easy. I just got to put this lid on. Mine I have to make sure I squeeze that Ziploc perfectly tight. <laughs> I'm getting it. Almost. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. There we go. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to hang up this bag in a sunny window. So over here I'm actually going to hang up my third one. <laughs> I've been making a few for fun today. Uh, I'm going to hang this bag up in the window, and what's going to happen here is when the sun shines on this bag, just like this one that was about a few hung a few hours ago, you'll start to see steam in the bag. So the bag will start the bag will start to get foggy, and then it's actually going to collect a lot of liquid up high, and you're going to start seeing drops drip down. So you see some of those drops in that bag are actually from precipitation. Precipitation, of course. So that fog looking is just like what the clouds look like. That's our condensation. It's raising up and then it's going to rain back down as precipitation. So what about my container? Because I don't think I can really take this in the window very successfully. So all you need to do is set it in a sunny window still or you can even leave it outside and oh. check on it a few hours later. Easy enough. Okay, I can just try to sort of balancing mine over here. Perfect. Awesome, that looks great. Mm -hmm. So. I know what you're thinking. We have three big words that we've learned and they might be hard to remember. That's why Danny and I created a song to help us remember the water cycle. We're gonna sing it first for you and then we're gonna sing it one more time and I want you to join us in that second time, okay? Sounds good. Let's do it. All right. Evaporation, condensation, precipitation on my mind. Oh, it's just the water cycle and it happens all the time. Okay, are you all ready to do it with us? Let's go. All right. Evaporation, condensation, precipitation on my mind. Oh, it's just the water cycle and it happens all the time. Thank you cool. so much for doing this with me today, Absolutely. Danny. Absolutely. I had a lot of fun. Thank you all for joining us. See you later. Bye.